So we're gonna start this recipe off by dumping some tater tots into a cupcake tin. And then we're gonna go ahead and evenly spread them out. And these are pre-cooked. And now we're gonna take some of this four cheese Mexican blend and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on each cup, just enough to where we mix these up, we get the cheese kind of combined with the tater tots. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup and we're going to literally squeeze down just like this, okay? And we're gonna make like little tater tot discs. And what the cheese is gonna do is can actually hold these discs together and that's what we want. So now we're gonna take some of this triple cheddar blend and we're gonna put a generous amount in each cup. And this was pre-greased by the way. I have some of this ground beef pre-cooked. We're gonna go ahead and put some ground beef on here as well. Again, a generous amount in each cup. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some salt to each one of these, just like this. And this is such a cool little salt machine. And then I have some of this wonderful organic onion powder. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of onion powder on each cup as well. It's gonna give you a great onion flavor. And last but not least, for a little bit of heat, we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. You don't have to do this if you don't like heat, but I do like heat, so we're gonna put it on half. Now the oven's preheating to 425 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in. While that's cooking, we're gonna make sauce. We're gonna take some of this tomato sauce, and we're gonna actually squirt a little bit in there for a base. Now we have some French dressing, and this is very, very good. Well, you can use any kind you want. We're using the Ken's today. So we're gonna put a little splash of French in there. Garlic, you can use any kind of garlic you want. We just happen to have the squeeze bottle today. Put a little bit in there, about, I'd say, one or two cloves. And then we have this wonderful barbecue sauce. We're gonna go ahead and, yes, you guessed it. Put a little bit of barbecue sauce in there, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and just mix all this together. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh. Well, it looks kind of like that. We're gonna set this to the side and wait for this stuff to cook. Okay, 10 minutes at 425, and we're gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes. So now that it's cooled off, we're gonna come in with these Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle Slices. Oh my God, these are amazing if you haven't tried them before. So we're just gonna go ahead and put one slice on each of these beef cups. These are a little spicy, so if you don't like spicy pickles, you can go and use regular dill. It doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. And I have some of this shredded lettuce. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little shredded lettuce on each one. Okay, and again, you can put as little or as much shredded lettuce as you want. It's all personal preference. And then remember that sauce we made? We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of sauce on each one of these as well. And this is where the magic really happens, you guys, because this sauce is, you could eat this sauce alone, to be honest. So there's the sauce. And then we're gonna finish it off with some sesame seeds, a little bit on each one. And now let's just go ahead in. They should come right out. Okay, and that's what they look like. Perfectly cooked, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. Give this recipe a shot, let us know how you like it. Mm. This is so good, you guys.